If you're interested in buying real estate or other assets off, offshore or outside of your home country, there's very important things to consider. And as an international tax consultant, I deal with Americans buying things offshore and as well as other clients from Canada or Mexico or Australia or Nicaragua or wherever buying real estate both in the U.S. and outside of the U.S. in other countries. And in this video, I want to explain the best way to do it as both an American and as a non-resident, specifically in the context of investing in real estate in Belize. Because of my frequent collaborations with Will Mitchell, I'll link his channel, you can search him, Will Mitchell in Belize. He has a pretty awesome channel, very informative channel about real estate in Belize and also other fun things you can do in Belize. Um, I'm also an investor out there, I love it out there. I think it's really interesting. I talk with clients every day who are investing in Belize, but I wanna talk in this video about how to structure these investments because there's different things you have to consider when you're investing in a different country. So the first thing to consider is the property laws and rules in that country. In Belize specifically, the titles of Belize real estate, it can be held generally in any kind of company. It can be held in the name of a person or in the name of an offshore company or in the name of even a US LLC and it's not really a problem. The thing about Belize though, and all other countries really, is you don't wanna ever title stuff in your own name. The issue is, for estate tax purposes, if you die, how do you have to get that title out of your name? And if you sell it, how long does it take to transfer the actual title in the country? So in Belize, you can sell a company that owns land much, much, much faster than you can have the country change the title, the deed, um, the title of the deed to another person, which takes up to a year, could take longer than a year. So if you have it titled in your name, you have to basically wait a year for the title to transfer for the sale to conclude. Or if it was in the name of a company, you could simply just transfer the, the name of the company uh, to the person. You could sell the company effectively to the other person. And this is done in Panama. This is done in the U.S. This is done all over the world, especially in places where it's not that efficient to change the title of property and where it's easier just to sell a company. There are different taxes and things to consider. In Belize, there currently is a stamp tax. So when you change the title, there's a big tax. And I believe they're changing the laws. At some point, there's there's rumors and whispers that um, they're gonna change the laws so that you have to actually register the owner in, in Belize. So when the actual ultimate owner changes, there will be a small like 5% tax, but that's still speculative. And I've just been hearing that around the rumor mill. In general, the most important thing is to secure your ownership. So. Now that we understand the title laws and the concept of owning property in another country, how do we actually set these up? So if you're buying a property, which is ultimately a foreign company, if you're buying a foreign company as an American, you have to disclose that on your taxes. So if I own a foreign corporation, even if it's inactive and just holds land, I have to disclose that on my tax return on form 5471. If I own it with another person, we both have to file the form. So what we've often done for Americans is set up LLCs in Wyoming. So first of all, this is an anonymous LLC and have this either own the property directly, if possible, if you're changing the title or own the company that owns the property, um, which often is like Anguilla corporations or other offshore corporations where banking can be difficult. The reason we set it up like this with an LLC in Wyoming is one, you can have private ownership and this is commonly used for U.S. properties as well. Um, number two, we can have banking in the U.S., which is easier for managing rentals if you want to rent it out on Airbnb or if you want to uh, expense your flights out there and deduct them for taxes. And then number three is to make the taxes potentially a little easier. So if there's a multi-member LLC, if you and your spouse own this LLC and this LLC owns a company in Anguilla or, off or in Belize that owns ultimately the title to land in Belize, you basically just keep these companies open that own the title and hold the land and then operate anything out of the uh, multi-member LLC that you have. And this is another way also if you have multiple investors, you can all put your money into the LLC and then invest in the property that way. It's just a much easier way to manage a multi-party investment and even a single person investment because you don't have to title that foreign company into your own name. It's best to just have control of your stuff um, through, through companies so you can have anonymous ownership, ultimately just protect your assets, right? So how does this work if you're from another country? Well, I'll tell you, if you're a, a Canadian living in Canada or living outside of Canada, I still really like using US LLCs for these types of structures because 
You can have a U.S. LLC, U.S. bank accounts opened fairly easily and have no U.S. income taxes at all. I mean, there's the properties located in Belize, so you can make money, expense money, and run it through this um, company in the U.S. and have it own the stuff in Belize. And again, you can control the ownership of the U.S. company, split it up however you want, and then you can um, expense things and have banking and just manage it all much easier than actually um, operating with a an Anguilla company or a Belize company. Opening bank accounts in Belize can be complicated. The currency is different. The same with Anguilla or other holding companies. So those are the kind of companies that we deal with. Sometimes you'll buy a property in Belize and it's total it's it's titled already into an LLC, in which case you can have another LLC own it, depending on where the first LLC is established to maintain privacy. Or you could just take ownership of that LLC depending on how they have it set up. So you always have to check and see if there's any liabilities or encumbrances on the LLC. And, you know, when you're investing in other countries, see if it's possible to change the title or if it's practical. I just know from what I've heard in Belize that it's very, very slow. So that's why everyone does it through companies. So in summary, if you want to invest offshore, you really need to check the property laws, the ownership laws, like if it's uh, how they have property ownership in the country, squatters rights and property taxes and income taxes, especially if you're trying to rent out the property so you can understand the rules there. And then you just need to make sure you have it properly structured to set up to protect your ownership. Often it's best to title foreign real estate in the name of companies. And then at the top level holding, I love using Wyoming LLCs for top level holding companies, whether you're from outside the US or whether you're inside the US as an American, just because if you're in the US, it's passed through taxation and the foreign filings go to this company instead of on your personal return. You have a little bit of separation, lower audit risk. And as a foreign person, you have access to basically better banking and another level of privacy and asset protection that you get from an LLC instead of just owning the, the property in your own name. So if you need help setting this up, um, definitely schedule a call with us. We do this and we help clients with this all the time. I, I talk to probably four or five uh, Belize real estate investors every week. It's been very popular. And if you want to learn more about like Belize real estate, I've never even heard of Belize. Um, Google search Will Mitchell Belize. Um, he's awesome and he has a great channel. Uh, shout out to Will. I, I've done a couple of collaborations and videos with him on his channel. And, uh, you know, investing in real estate, especially abroad, is complicated, but it also can present really great opportunities. So check it out and good luck to you. I hope this video is helpful.